I'm Jeff Volick. I'm currently a professor in the Department of Human Sciences at The Ohio State University. I'm also one of the founders of VERTA. At Ohio State, I run a research lab that focuses primarily on studying the response to ketosis in humans. Uh, we have major thrusts now going on to better understand how cancer patients respond to ketogenic diets. And we're also studying how the military um, soldiers and war fighters um, uh, respond to ketosis and the various applications that may enhance their performance and resiliency. But we've made a, uh, some important discoveries too around um, uh, athletes and how, um, uh, how people in interested in performing optimally um, can also benefit from a ketogenic diet. So we had an opportunity to study elite keto-adapted athletes and learn a bit more about what makes them tick. Here I am 20 years later now, uh, still uh, as you know, passionate about understanding this topic. It's much more complicated and complex than I thought, but it's also much more exciting than it was back then because now we have a lot of very good evidence that there are real clinical benefits to being in ketosis, especially for type 2 diabetic patients. So a ketogenic diet has the potential to enhance certain types of athletic performance and increasingly we're seeing uh, athletes adopt very low carbohydrate, moderate protein, high fat diets uh, to augment their performance and recovery. And we're starting to now um, publish some studies that help us understand how this is working to enhance their, their health and their performance. I think number one is the metabolic adaptations. Um, and this occurs whether you're a type 2 diabetic or whether you're an elite athlete, you become a very good fat burner. Your rates of fat oxidation increase twofold. Now if you're an athlete, the absolute values are much higher than if you're a sedentary ob obese person, but they still double. Um, and being able to burn fat more efficiently uh, is very important for an endurance athlete because it's, it's, you have so much fat uh, available as fuel in your adipose tissue. Even if you're a lean athlete, you have well over 20,000 kilocalories worth of fat in your adipose tissue. And now you, you can access it and use it more efficiently. And that just um, uh, enables athletes to use less in-race calories when they're running long events or performing um, anything more than a couple hours, you will run out of carbohydrate stores. And if you're able to burn fat more efficiently, you're in a much better state than your high-carb, non-keto-adapted counterpart. Um, so metabolically, just that is probably the key benefit of being able to use fat more efficiently. But also, um, there's, I'll say, indirect benefits of being in ketosis for athletes that relate back to being able to recover, recover faster, uh, we think that's related to the anti-inflammatory effects of ketones, um, the less oxidative stress that's generated when you're keto-adapted. All this makes it easier for these athletes to recover from stressful exercise. And over time, this really allows them to adapt um, to their training and more favorably and um, allows them to train harder if they can recover faster and more uh, fully. Uh, I think there's also benefit in terms of weight loss, specifically fat loss, that occurs more effortlessly when you're in ketosis, and this benefits athletes, especially endurance athletes, uh, who become more efficient. If you lose fat but retain your muscle, um, that makes your power to weight ratio improve, and you're just more efficient. Whether you're a cyclist or a runner, you're carrying less weight, but you have the same muscle tissue, um, that translates into improved performance. So I think it's multifactorial, uh, but increasingly um, a lot of athletes are experiencing enough perceived benefit where they, uh, they really want to uh, make this switch permanent, and, uh, and, and that's occurring across not just the endurance athletes, but high-intensity athletes and, and team sports as well, especially soccer and uh, rugby across um, 
a lot of different countries now you're seeing many examples of teams adopting this type of lifestyle. One aspect of ketosis is the enhanced recovery from exercise. And this hasn't been well studied in the scientific literature, but it's certainly one of the most common perceived benefits that endurance athletes talk about. Uh, for example, many of the uh, athletes that we've worked with um, are competitive in very long endurance races, like 100-mile races. And this is pretty demanding and stressful on the body, where these athletes um, will take weeks, sometimes a month, to fully recover from these events where they can get back to their normal training because of the oxidative stress, the inflammatory stress, just the mechanical stress and literal tearing of membranes that occurs uh, with so much exercise. Um, and that takes time to recover from. When athletes switch to a ketogenic diet, their recovery becomes much faster, where we know many athletes who are back training at pretty much normal pace a couple days after competing in these very strenuous events. So our, our best guess at the mechanism of what's happening is less oxidative stress, less inflammation. Probably there's um, you know immune effects possibly too that are impacted by a ketogenic diet that just set the stage for being able to recover quicker from these very stressful events. So in terms of uh, higher intensity explosive type exercise, uh, we have a pretty limited number of studies that have evaluated how keto adaptation affects that specific type of performance. But clearly there's athletes out there performing at a higher intensity level who are keto adapted where it doesn't seem to compromise their ability to do that type of exercise. Um, it may take longer for that specific aspect of performance to, um, to come back and, and to actually augment that type of, of performance. So instead of three to four weeks, which generally is the time period it takes to adapt uh, to, for endurance exercise, this may take a couple months or longer. Uh, so it also depends on the type of training. If you're really wanting to enhance your high intensity exercise performance, then training specifically for that uh, is really important. And that's often ignored by uh, endurance athletes who overemphasize the aerobic endurance aspects and as a result that um, aspect, higher intensity aspect, um, is compromised. So specifically doing some explosive type training along with um, the ketogenic diet um, and doing that over a long enough period seems to be adequate to at least maintain if not augment that type of uh, performance.